assaulted, you know, betrayed. Um, it, was, it was definitely awful. That's why she's suing the Nevada National Security Sites contractor. So is one of her co-workers. They both told us the bosses not only know, but retaliated against them for reporting it. I've been a security police officer up at the test site for about three years. My name's Gus Redding. I've been at the uh, test site now for 20 years. Two people, two stories, two lawsuits. This is Jennifer Glover. The harassment started off pretty much immediately as I was going through the training. They would make comments about, you know, my body, my breast size, how I looked, who I, you know, who I was going to date, who I was going to sleep with. I kind of turned a blind eye to like, all right guys, you know, funny. But then after a while, it got worse and worse. Eventually it led to my sexual assault that happened during a training event. I reported that as well. Nothing happened. It just got worse from there. Ultimately led to my termination. And essentially, the longer I was there, the more things I started realizing, such as, you know, these, these guys, my supposed brothers, um, they were extremely comfortable with how they treated me. So at that point I knew that I wasn't the only one. I was not the first one that this ever happened to. Gus Redding noticed. This is by far the worst I've seen um, as far as women getting treated like this at the site. Um, it's been ongoing for a long time. It just went to my officers or my uh, supervisor and said this needs to stop. You know, you guys need to do something before it, you know, it gets worse. He told the truth about what happened and he's been retaliated against ever since. Gus is still technically employed, but told his security contractor SOC didn't allow him to medically retire and cut his hours. Jennifer's lawsuit names Centera Group, the contractor at the site when she worked there. Nevada's U.S. Senators asked the Department of Energy to investigate Glover's claims.